Hey, what's up, y'all? What's happening? Long time, long time. It's been a minute, I know. Hey, couple of things, and I can't wait to dive in. First thing I'm going to talk about real quick, pardon my hairstyle, man. I ain't even combing it this morning. I'm on a quick run. I had to just go and pick some up. So, I'm whipping, chilling, listening to some Cho Claire in the background. My man Leon had his press conference yesterday, and a lot of interesting things came out, especially about the hires and World Wild West and stuff. And I know there's at least one or two CAA doubters out there, and I get it. I mean, the Bagliani jump off was not a good look for us. You know what I mean? Chris Smith, not a good look for us. I get it. Big shout out to Finest, I know. But I'm just saying, we've already made the move of hiring an agent. And we'll see how that goes. Yes, it worth go say cool. Yay. We'll see. But what I will say is other than Stefan Marbury and that one person I uh, had a brief conversation with on Twitter about this, uh, I don't really see any other dissenting opinions. And typically that comes when a person has a good reputation in the league. And I'm sorry, World Wide West has had a great reputation for a very long time. Now, what is his reputation in? He's, he's an agent. He builds relationships with players and with organizations. At this point, being that our culture is what it is, I really think that we need people like that in the building that have our best interests at heart for a change. Because prior, CAA had their and their agents, uh, their, their, their clients' best interests at heart. And I understand that, you know what I mean? That's your job as the agent. But now that you're the president, it changes a little bit. And the way I look at it is he will take all that carte blanche that all of them have built up over these years and I think it will give us a better crack at free agency, a better crack at, at scouting and drafting, which is what's going to do the thing. Leon said it himself, he doesn't have a specific, a specific scheme or way to play that it should look. He's leaving that up to the coach because that's the coach's decision. So when it comes to that, I like that as well because he's leaving the stuff that he knows up to him and the stuff that he doesn't know up to the people that are smart enough to do it. And we will know by the end of July who that next person is. And I'm cool with that as well. So right now, again, it's the talking period. I got to pat this down. This little cowlick irking me. It's the talk phase right now, you know. Nothing can be done, so nothing is being done right now. But at least he's giving us the ideas of his plan. And I'll take that all day, every day right now. And the fact that I like who he mentioned as the core. The, the fact that I like who he mentions as his core going forward, I agree. You know, RJ, Mitch, you know what I mean... Kevin, yo, if they see something in Dennis Smith, then cool. Then let's let's get it out of him. What we see in him, and of course Frank, dude, I like that. I like that grouping. We bring in some rooks. We bring in some free agents. We keep maybe Taj, you know, baby Bobby, dependent. You know, I mean, I know he mentioned Julius, but we 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 got to really work that out and see how that works. And Julius, I'm sorry, brother, you got to get rid of that spin move. You got to get rid of it. And you got to like more players than just Eifert. You can't just pass him the ball. You got to do more than that. But that's for later. As of the information given yesterday, I'm right happy. You know what I mean? I think we're in the right direction. I'm leaving it up to the front office because there's really nothing else I can do. 
I left it up to the last regime. But because I was simply trying to give them a chance to do what they say they were going to do. And I'm still a bit blown about how all that transpired. But at the end of the day, if Steve Mills was the issue, then good, he's gone. Hey's. You know, Perry seems to carry a lot of respect. And I know Schwinney heard that he was going to be working with Rose for a year. But if he heard the end of that sentence, he would have heard that he wanted to be there maybe even longer. He was willing to see. So let's, you know, let's agendas must be put aside for Perry or anything else right now. And we just got to wait a couple of months to see what life is like. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'll holler at y'all.